Hi, everyone. Hi, guys. This is our last video session with you guys. We want you to have a wonderful, wonderful summer and be active. Definitely. We can't wait to see you. Hopefully, cross our fingers, we'll see you at the Hosmer in the fall. Yeah, can't wait. So we miss you guys so much. Um, and we were thinking about you. Uh, Mrs. Bartlett, as we know, does a virtual field, uh, does a field day every year. And we would be doing it. Today would be one of the days. What a beautiful day that we're missing out on. But um, what we have done is we got the virtual field day off of the open website, which is a bunch of PE teachers across the United States that got together and they created this virtual field day. And so it's in your Google Classroom. So what's gonna happen is, if you look at my screen here, I have all these links inside of your Google Classroom. And all you're gonna do is click on the links. And I'm gonna click on this first one, it's the torch run. And there's like five different videos, but this one just so happens that Massachusetts is the first, first state that's filled in on the map. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. And I'll click on the different links so you could see the process of how we're going to go. So, Mrs. Bell, you want to say anything before I do that? No, no, I'm good. Okay. So, watch this, guys. This was a torch run. This they did around the middle of May. Um, so, it's all recorded. You ready? Here we go. You click on it, the window opens up, you press play, and it spins for a minute. Love. Here Ladies we go. and gentlemen, my name is Doug E. Fresh. And I want to know how many of y'all feel healthy? How many of y'all feel positive out there? Well, right now, what we want to do is we want to get everybody together all over the world as we get this thing started. Something like this. Come on. There's Massachusetts right there. That's our rap. And as you can see, these kids are running and they're holding a torch and they're going from state to state. I'm gonna make this my best year. From school to school, it's your life. From friends to fans, it's your life. So they had five different videos like this. And eventually, by the end, the whole map was filled in. So I'm gonna stop it here just because I think that you guys get the idea and I wanted you to see that it was Massachusetts. Okay, so you can click on it. You can see the way the rest of it fills up. Okay? So then from there, what you would do, these are the actual games. This here is an official scorecard. I'll click on it so you can see it. You don't have to keep score if you don't want to. It's nope. just if, if you do want to, you could practice, and it's something nice for you guys to try to, um, try to you know, record your own stuff yeah these are all the different games there's 25 of them and the attempts are you try it and then you record and then you put your personal best in okay Very so cool. that's the scorecard um this link down here this gives you all the games with written directions so i'm going to click that just so you can see what it looks like okay as you can see, it says event cards. It tells you exactly what you need um, and what the name of the game is. So this is the written version of the game or the activity. You can see here, back, backboard bank it, tells you what you need, how to set it up into play, okay? And it goes all the way through. There's like 25 of them. And you know what's cool about some of these too is if you guys don't have access to being outside, a lot of these, most of these you can do inside as well. So it's a good option. Right, right. And you get these for the whole summer, you know, you can go back to them and you can play with them throughout the summer. I clicked it so many times, there's three windows open. That's all I'm saying, okay. This here is the equipment list. So for the 25 games, what's gonna happen is it tells you if you wanted to set it all up ahead of time, you'll know exactly what you need. So that's the equipment list. 
a kitchen spatula, you know, it just tells you what you guys would need. Yes. A lot of it's just stuff you're going to have around the house anyways. So, right. Right. And so you have the written version, you have the scorecard, you have the equipment list. This is probably the final thing. This is videos of every single activity and it's broken down so that you guys know exactly what to do. So the all 25 activities that's on that scorecard, there's a video for each one individually here. It's just taking a minute to load. It's awesome to have the option of either like reading it or seeing it because it's just, it's, it makes it because we all learn differently. So to have both of them is great. Right. And they're coming. Love technology, guys. We're getting better and better at it, aren't we? So you pick whichever one you want to do. Climb the ladder. Okay. Click on it. National trainer Dan Tennyson and this is Climb the Ladder. What I have is I have a ladder with a plastic cup. You can use a plastic water bottle or anything that's safe and not going to break. I also have a pile of sock balls about 10 feet away. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sock balls and I'm going to try to knock down that cup. And when I finally do knock it down, I take it and I put it on the next step of the ladder. Gather up my sock balls, take them back, and I try it again. If you don't have a ladder or if it's not safe to use one, you can draw one on the ground with some sidewalk chalk. Set your cup down and play it that way. Remember to write your scores down on your score sheet. And thanks for participating in National Field Day. Perfect. So that's like a 30 second video. All right. And they have one for all the different, all the different activities, you know. Um, and I like the way he gave you, if you don't use a ladder, whatever you guys do before you do anything, ask your parents. Yeah. Make sure that your parents or your caregivers are there and they know what you're going to do. Don't just do it without anybody's permission. Yes, okay. definitely. And you so, don't, oh, sorry. Okay. Mrs. No, no, I was no, just no. going to say, you don't have to do all of them. This is for you to have. If you want to do five, you can do five. If you want to try them all, if you want to do a couple today and then a couple next week and a couple the week after, that's fine. And this is also something great you can do with your family. Yeah. You can have a family virtual. You can have a family field day. So that's kind of cool. That's something you don't usually get to do. So, right. Everybody, and you can work, and we all know practice makes perfect, right? So you can, if you wanted to, you could record your scores one week, practice, 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 and then do it again and see if you can beat your own scores. Yes. So there's tons of stuff you can do with this. We really liked it because it gave you. The written version and it gave you a demonstration video just like we were there showing you your, ourselves so we hope you have fun enjoy have a great summer yes we can't we wait to see you yeah we can't wait to see you hopefully this will all be gone and we'll all be together in september yeah definitely definitely awesome. so enjoy Bye, Bye everyone. Guys. Have a great summer. Have a great summer.